Hello you beautiful people! So I am celebrating the easing down of restrictions uh, by going out for a little evening buzz on my little GSX-R 750 and oh, it's so good to get out on this because I'm only going you know around the block and local I haven't put my earplugs in and listening to this is just sublime lovely 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 so have a little scooter around the block and get out of the park and have a cup of tea if they're open and uh yeah i've seen loads of bikes out today everyone on the uh chat you know saying that they're going out going out is anyone coming out it's fantastic absolutely fantastic so i couldn't miss this opportunity so not a lot else to report well there is something to report but first, so my neck, um, so the spinal surgery, all that malarkey. Um, I'm still talking to the surgeons and to the doctors and looking at scans and trying to figure out the best way forward and what they're going to do, all that kind of stuff. Uh, so I'm on some pretty strong pain medication at the minute, which is awesome stuff. <laughs> it really is. I'm um, on three or four lots of that and uh, it's great. Uh, yeah so what the medication does you've got one that changes the chemical in chemicals in your brain uh, to ignore the pain all that kind of stuff but you've also got the ones that um, reduce the swelling in your spine so they target nerves all that kind of stuff and there's also some de-swelling medication and after three or four days it really does start to work so I have no pain whatsoever in my neck at all not even an ache at the minute uh, well a little ache um, but nothing major like it was so the pain meds really do work which is fantastic so yep not much to report on the neck front except for that uh, we'll see what happens what will be will be I'm not going to be worried about it just going to get on with it as long as I can ride this beauty, I'll be fine. So I've got some really, really great news. So all that crappy news about my neck and stuff. But to offset that, some really, really good news. Uh, which I think you might like. Maybe. <laughs> Another discussion point anyway. Uh, so I'm going to get to the park first to get a cup of tea. And I'll tell you all about that. But something really exciting is going to happen. Welcome to the park. I've gone full stormtrooper today in aid of uh, ease of lockdown. <laughs> so I've put the whole lot on. I haven't put these leathers on for three or four months. Man, they were tight, super tight. So let's just have a walk up here. There's people everywhere and I always feel awkward doing these um, vlogs when you're walking around. So let's get up to the, uh, the Himley Hall and I'll tell you my good news. I'll see you in a bit.
so forget about all the spinal rubbish that's something I can't control I can't affect that so I'm not going to worry about it what will be will be but something I can affect so my good news stories I have finally found after a long time of searching a touring bike that is just enough for me I think it's going to be absolutely perfect and it gets delivered this week so in a couple of days uh, some guys are gonna I'm not gonna tell you what garage or anything yet so I want to do a nice reveal video and show you all around it and tell you all about it um, but my two my little tour is going to arrive on Thursday so I am super excited it's took all the edge off all the stress on on you know the the spinal stuff it's really pet me up and the meds as well that they're doing their job so um, yeah that's it so I've finally bagged a perfect touring bike for me and uh, I'll tell you all about that when it gets delivered on Thursday I'm gonna film the whole lot the delivery everything I've had such a fantastic experience with this bike garage um, I want to tell you all about them so uh, it's been delivered on Thursday which I believe is April Fool's Day man can you imagine that as an April Fool so they turn up with an empty van April Fool mate thanks for the cash and just go spinning off that's what I'd do um, so we'll see but up to now the experience has been utterly fantastic with these guys I'm going to tell you all about them like I say so um, bear with me for a couple of days and I'll show you around my lovely shiny new touring bike Whew. the wife asked me that question what's the question can you guess yeah, she said, well, you can't ride two bikes, so are you going to get rid of your GSX-R 750 now? She's mental. She's mental. You think that's ever going to happen after it took me a year to find a black one in that condition? Well, we'll see. See how the neck gets up, gets on, eh? Because I might not be able to ride it, period. Um, might have to put it in a glass box and just stare at it. All right, but there's my good news. I'm going to have a walk around this place now boiling hot today it's like 21 degrees and it's evening time um, so hopefully it's going to stay nice for the weekend so I can get out on the tourer and uh, take some pickies of it show you all right well you guys have a fantastic day I'm gonna have a little look round I'll see you in a bit So I don't know if you've ever been to Himley Hall and Park, um, but I've been told, now don't quote me on this, you'll have to look it up and I'm going to look it up when I get home. I was told that Guy Fawkes, when he tried to go on the run, so when he did a runner, I was told that he ended up here and this is where they found him. And that's why when we have Bonfire Night here or Guy Fawkes Night, whatever you want to call it, it's always a big affair, it's massive here. So um, on Bonfire Night, this place is absolutely mobbed. Obviously pre-lockdown, we couldn't have it last year or I don't know what's gonna happen this year. Um, but yeah, there seems to be some connection between Guy Fawkes and Himley Hall. Uh, I'm gonna look it up when I get home, but that's what I've been told. It's a beautiful place. I'd love to show you inside, but unfortunately it's locked up because of um, you know, COVID restrictions and that they can only do takeout through the window. But it's got some lovely stuff in there and lovely rooms. Now I've got to say, if that was my house, I'd have painted it white, but that's just me. And here she is. There you go welcome back guys sorry uh, so I had a nice walk around the park and I got talking and gave an hour of my time to a lovely couple in their early 80s I had a really good chat with them I just love talking to people I think now this uh, lockdown's ending most people are really happy you know you see them they all say hello um, and I ended up in a conversation with 
I can say that a lovely couple for a good hour um, really enjoyed that chat so if you're watching I gave you one of my cards if you're watching guys say hello in the comments and uh, it was lovely to meet ya <laughs> and tell the wife to get some mirrors on that mobility scooter you've got to have mirrors as many as you can fit on it <laughs> so exciting news for me um, this week about the touring bike oh it just I cannot wait I cannot wait I'm so excited for it to come it's again the GSX-R 750 was always the bike that I wanted as a kid um, finally got it but there was always another bike that I wanted I bet you can guess what it is because I've been talking about it quite a bit um, I always wanted a, a, a touring bike a more sit up bike so I can chuck the tent on the back and go down Wales or whatever and finally finally after a year of searching one's popped up which is immaculate allegedly um, there's only one scuff on it one scuff and that's on the um, left hand swing arm so I don't know what boots the guys was wearing before he went to the garage with it or, <laughs> or that he did his 3,000 miles in but it looked like he had he must have had clown shoes on because he's just rubbed all the coating a little patch on the back swing arm um, with the back of his the heel of his boots so he must have like size 15 feet <laughs> I'm gonna see if I can get that recoated um, because I do like mint bikes I don't like any scrappiness at all on a bike um, but the rest of the bike I've had a video walk around with it and a good old chat with the guys for a while now and the rest of the bike seems to be absolutely immaculate unmarked so cannot wait I'm so excited to get that because I can do so much with a tourer um, so putting about on this over Snowdonia you know my neck and my my wrist didn't like that at all even though I enjoyed the trip um, but on a touring bike I'd be able to you know get in a field throw the tent up stay over for the night and then carry on in the next morning and I won't have any of the aches and pains that you get on the sport bike so I'm still gonna keep this um, this is this bikes not going anywhere oh it's just heaven this bike is um, but I am so excited for a tourer so so excited to get one uh, so like I say it might be an April fall <laughs> we'll see um, so I'll post a video update on that soon and hopefully when I get my tourer there'll be more people wanting to go out and ride and we can go out and do some proper rides you know out, out for 100 200 mile away I'm looking forward to that so hit me up in the comments if you fancy it I'm a West Midlandser um, but I'm not precious about it you know wherever you're from let's go out let's meet up and uh, let's have some good rides man that's what I'm looking forward to in the summer some really nice good rides okay guys well thanks for popping along for this short one and I'll uh, I'll give you an update soon